Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. Today's tutorial is for beginners. We'll be looking at turning audio loops, so short pieces of audio that's been pre-recorded for you, and turning them into a full song. We'll be using BandLab, which is completely free. All you have to do is to sign up with your email address. All right, let's get started. So now that you created your account, now the very first thing is that you want to click on create on the top right. And here we want to click on browse loops. So loop is a very short piece of audio from any uh, instrument. So here uh, they are classified by genre. Let's hear it. Let's go for that one, and then when you double click here, you have different instruments. Let's start with the drums, let's hear it. So there's different drum loops you can choose from, different grooves. But here I'm going for the very first one, and if you hold click, you can simply drag and drop it into your project. Press the play button to hear it back. The drums are the foundation of a song. Now on top of that we want to add some chords, to give some harmony. Here you can choose from guitars or keys. I personally want to go for a guitar loop. I like it, so I'm going to drag and drop it into my project. Let's hear it together. Next thing, I would like to start just with a guitar and then to have the drums coming in just a bit later. All you have to do is to hold click and move it to the right. Here I would like my guitar to be playing over the drums. So we are going to learn how to copy and paste. Really simple, right click, copy, right click, paste. Just be careful with one thing, you want your guitar loop to repeat itself. So you want to click at the beginning of the next bar. So where it says number three, as you can see. So far we have two loops, a guitar and a drum loops, it works quite well together. Let's do another copy and paste to make it longer. Here's a new feature, so we want to be able to loop that specific section, so it will play it on repeat. That's very useful if you're trying to find an instrument that works well on top of it. So here I'm going to add that bass part. So here the ending doesn't quite work well, so I just want to make my loop shorter click at the bottom right of that loop and just drag it to the left side. I'm now looking for a background instrument that complements that guitar part. Yeah. 
Let's hear it in context. That's pretty good, I like it. Now the next thing is we want to add a bit of structure. So that's our main part really, we call it a chorus. Now we want to find a verse. Typically the verse have less elements and that's what we'll be doing here. We're going to drop the drums. So instead of copy and pasting everything, you just copy and paste the guitar. That's a bit too empty, so I want to find just a percussion. And I'm going for that one, Lo-Fi Percussion 09. Let's make it quieter, so here you can drag and drop the volume down. Again, copy and paste. Here, as you can see, you can move your audio tracks around. So I place the percussion uh, just below the drums, just because it makes more sense. And now we have all our main elements. Now all we will do is to uh, play with details. So for instance here, let's copy and paste that drum loop from the top. But what we will do is to make it shorter so it's only play just before the loop starts again. Here on to something similar between my first and my second chorus. Same thing with the guitar. Let's cut it a bit more. And that's a really nice transition. Now the song is a bit short as it is now, so I'm just going to do more copy and paste really. And uh, structure wise, it's all about dropping some elements at time and adding some new ones. And this is what I came up with. Obviously now you can try to make your own one, you don't have to copy it. Not bad at all, and now the very last thing, the very last touch we want to add 
is called a filter automation. So the first thing, click on your guitar track and then here at the bottom, click on effects. And then add an effect, tone, and we want the multi filter. And now we can adjust the frequency knob and let's just hear how it sounds like. We are basically cutting the low frequencies. And now on the top left, click on that button. And here we can cut the frequencies gradually. So instead of volume, be careful, select uh, the frequency. That's the parameter we want to adjust and change over time. And now if you click, you basically add a point, an automation point and then you can see it starts to look like a curve. And now visualize the frequency knob moving according to that curve. For the verse, we want to cut these high frequencies. Same thing for the outro. And we are basically done. Okay, now simple, we want to save the project. So click here on save. You can also name your project and on the top left click exit and now listen back to your song. I hope that you've enjoyed this tutorial, if that's the case, subscribe to my channel and leave a comment. Alright, see you next time. Thank you.